In other news, they don't happen often, but when they do, they can be catastrophic. We're talking chemical spills, earthquakes, or active shooters. Those are just a few scenarios for which first responders need to be prepared. Over the next two weeks, fire crews from around the region will come together to train for mass casualty situations. Here's Crum 2's Amanda Rowley tonight. Amanda? Well, firefighters in our region want to be prepared and improve their skills for hazardous, hazardous materials incidents. So today, a few firefighters came to Spokane to participate in a drill where a fuel tank ruptured. The scenario is here. There's been a release of a product that uh, has contacted uh, numerous victims. They're going to have to decon all the victims before we can transport them to the hospital. Division Chief Nathan Jeffries with Spokane County Fire says drills like these are a chance for fire departments to train for an incident that requires a large amount of resources. Well, we have the same potential that uh, any other city has uh, for a hazardous materials incident. Jeffries says these drills help departments evaluate what additional equipment they may need in the event of hazardous material incidents. It also allows them to see where they should make changes in their current emergency plans. Our emergency plans that we have written out that uh, sort of pre-plan for these type of things, we evaluate those, make sure they're current and see if we need to make some changes. In drills like this in the past we have, we've taken that back, adjusted our plans uh, because we found a, a, a better way, a more efficient way to respond to the emergency. Now next week, fire crews will head to Fairchild Air Force Base for chlorine gas leak training. Amanda Roldy, Crem 2 News.